Welcome to episode 2 of the Romans 5a Gospel Bible Series. In this episode, we will be following up on the previous episode and covering what salvation is. I first want to start out by giving you the definition of salvation. I decided to choose the Oxford Dictionary as they provide two definitions for salvation. The first one is from a more generic standpoint, which means a source of means of being saved from harm, ruin, or loss. Their second definition is from the Christian perspective, which is deliverance from sin and its consequences, believed by Christians to be brought about by faith in Christ. Since I have given the definition of salvation, you may be asking, what does salvation save us from? The best answer to this question is sin and death. But what truly is sin? What are the consequences of death without salvation? We must go deeper into these things to gain a deeper insight into the power of salvation. What is sin? 1 John 3.14 tells us everyone commits sin, practices lawlessness, and sin is lawlessness. Who are we committing lawlessness against? The answer to this is God. When we go against his law of design for us as humans, we commit sin. The best example of this is found in the story of Adam and Eve in Genesis 3. The concept of eating the fruit from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil was something God had forbade Adam and Eve to do. The serpent, through temptation, convinced Eve that his design was not correct, and thus the first sin occurred. The consequences of this sin were death, labor pains, and food requiring intensive labor. Man was also banished from paradise through these actions, but God made a way for this to one day be rectified. Now that we have covered sin, I will be covering what is death. Romans 6.23 tells us, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Death is the consequences of our sin. The grave is the punishment for rebellion. In sin we are deservant of hell and the full consequences of our acts of rebellion against God. Here's where the twist is. God provided a way for us to be forgiven in our sin and in our rebellion to find forgiveness and salvation. In this power of salvation, Romans 5, 8 through 9 tells us, But God proves his own love for us, and that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. How much more then, since we have been justified by his blood, will we be saved through him from wrath? Through the blood of Christ, the Messiah prophesied through the Old Testament, the Son of God, whom is God himself, we are forgiven. This is not the end of our salvation either. Hebrews 9.28 tells us, So also Christ, having been offered once to bear the sins of many, will also appear a second time, not to bear sin, but to bring salvation to those who have been waiting for him. Now that you understand salvation, you may wonder, how do you receive it? This is thoroughly explained throughout the New Testament, and I will provide the verses here. Romans 10.9 tells us, If you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Ephesians 2, 8-9 tells us, For you are saved by grace through faith, and this is not from yourselves. It is God's gift, not from works, so that no one can boast. There is only one way to salvation, through Christ. Ephesians 4, 4-6 tells us, There is one body and one spirit, just as you have been called to one hope at your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all, through all, and in all. What about baptism? We are commanded to be baptized as Christians as an act of obedience to Christ who saved us. There are certain circumstances, such as the thief on the cross, where he was able to follow up, where he was not able to follow up in obedience. However, to continually abstain from baptism in a relationship from Christ is an act of disobedience. As a Baptist, my personal interpretation of Scripture is that salvation comes through repentance of sins. But either way, to come to Christ without obeying Him is to betray the vow that you made to Him in repentance. If you have not been baptized, I recommend to follow up in obedience, find a local church to plant yourself in, and be baptized. In conclusion, salvation is being freed from sin and death, through Christ's death alone. Through salvation, we are truly forgiven and set free, and we are no longer held down by the grave. Christ was the ultimate sacrifice for our sins. We are to live for Him as Lord, God, and King as Christians. Thank you for watching this episode. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share the video with friends. It helps out our channel a lot.